Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, if we admit we are powerless, there must be a power greater than ourselves that is not of this world. It is otherworldly. October 7th, thought for the day. Do I put too much reliance on any one member of the group? That is, do I make a tin god out of some one person? Do I set that person on a pedestal? If I do, I am building my house on sand. All AA members have clay feet. They are all only one drink away from a drunk, no matter how long they have been in AA. This has been proved to be true more than once. It's not fair to any member to be singled out as a leader in AA and to always quote that member on the AA program. If that person should fail, where would I be? Can I afford to be tipped over by the failure of my ideal? Meditation for the day. You must always remember that you are weak, but that God is strong. God knows all about your weakness. He hears every cry for mercy, every sign of weakness, every plea for help, every sorrow over failure, every weakness felt and expressed. We only fail when we trust too much to our own strength. Do not feel bad about your weakness. When you are weak, that is when God is strong to help you. Trust God enough, and your weakness will not matter. God is always strong to save. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may learn to lean on God's strength. I pray that I may know that my weakness is God's opportunity. It is suggested that we find a higher power in which we can rely on absolutely. No human being is infallible. Left to our own devices, in the end, everybody chooses themselves. We are selfish and self-centered to the extreme, and we get relief in the program by admitting our powerlessness and finding a power greater than ourselves. It is a spiritual program of recovery where we have a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of that spiritual connection. Spiritual means of a relating to a supernatural being or phenomena. It isn't human. Our superhuman idea does not exist in reality. We look up to our parents as children, and we ask ourselves, who do they look to for support? Faith is where the solution lies. Faith that we are safe and protected when we align our will with that higher power's will, as we understand him. Realizing and remembering we are not the source of the power relieves us of the stress of trying to be perfect. Aspiring to be in God's image is our M.O. We know we will never be God and are happy to no longer try to play God. Such a weight off our shoulders. Elder statesmen in Alcoholics Anonymous are great sources of inspiration to see how they did it for so long and happily. We learn from them how working the steps in their daily living kept them from sliding back into destructive thinking we all had when trying to arrange life to fit ourselves. We are all the same. Some have more days of sobriety, but all real sober alcoholics have just 24 hours. True equality among our fellows. We are grateful there isn't a corporate structure in the sober rooms. We have trusted servants who rotate their service commitments for the common welfare of the group. Prayer, meditation, and selfless service to others is how we stay sober. Simple, not easy for an alcoholic mind. 
We remember how tightly we were wound when we went to our first meeting. We were at the fork in the road, and our brains were muddled with fear. Somehow, we stayed and dried out, and our foggy brains began to clear up. It was God the whole time, demonstrated by others who came before us. They transmitted the message, and we heard what we needed for the first time, because they knew what they were talking about in regard to our mental obsession. They knew the problem we had, and they had the solution we wanted. Because they were receptive to our situation and wanted nothing in return, we opened up and became vulnerable for the first time in a long time, which opened our hearts to believe in a higher power that could and would solve our problem. All it took was a beginning. We see now our weakness is our strength. We are now on a different basis, the basis of trusting and relying upon God. We trust infinite God rather than our finite selves. We are in the world to play the role He assigns. Just to the extent that we do as we think He would have us and humbly rely on Him, does He enable us to match calamity with serenity. We find that our thinking will, as time passes, be more and more on the plane of inspiration. We come to rely upon it. Consider... If we admit we are powerless, there must be a power greater than ourselves that is not of this world. It is otherworldly. October 7th, thought for the day. Do I put too much reliance on any one member of the group? That is, do I make a tin god out of some one person? Do I set that person on a pedestal? If I do, I am building my house on sand. All AA members have clay feet. They are all only one drink away from a drunk, no matter how long they have been in AA. This has been proved to be true more than once. It's not fair to any member to be singled out as a leader in AA and to always quote that member on the AA program. If that person should fail, where would I be? Can I afford to be tipped over by the failure of my ideal? Meditation for the day. You must always remember that you are weak, but that God is strong. God knows all about your weakness. He hears every cry for mercy, every sign of weakness, every plea for help, every sorrow over failure, every weakness felt and expressed. We only fail when we trust too much to our own strength. Do not feel bad about your weakness. When you are weak, that is when God is strong to help you. Trust God enough, and your weakness will not matter. God is always strong to save. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may learn to lean on God's strength. I pray that I may know that my weakness is God's opportunity. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.